Guerrilla gardening need not always be done close to home. Last week, I flew to Moscow with a trowel and some red tulip bulbs packed in my bag. I was in the Russian capital to lecture at a conference about the identity of cities, but had another mission in mind. Not a fight against filth, but the planting of a small memorial. Right by the Kremlin is an obelisk, and amongst the names engraved in the granite is Gerard Wynne Stanley's, an Englishman and guerrilla gardener in the 17th century. And in his honour, we're now going to do a little bit of guerrilla gardening as nearby as possible. The soil is very, very good here. It's very soft. There's not a stone in it at all. And from my bag that I've smuggled through customs, I have some red tulip bowls, which are the Oxford red variety. That is as simple as that, we've succeeded. <laughs> Look, this is that nice tree there, looking over the omelet. Yeah, that soil was really, really good. See, that's the advantage, the grass doesn't grow in Moscow during winter. So although it will snow, that shouldn't get mown up off at all. I testify that I am going to come to this place and check whether the tulips which were seeded by Richard Reynolds from Gorilla Garden will actually grow into beautiful and nice tulips and then when they grow up I will 